Hi, my name is Robert Down. I'm a project administrator of OpenEMR. Today, I'm really excited to share with you OpenEMR Cloud Express, an easy to use, cost-effective solution to running OpenEMR on the AWS platform. This is a great solution for academic institutions looking to run OpenEMR in the classroom. New users wanting to see all the capabilities of OpenEMR or providers in low resource areas needing a financially viable solution. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy OpenEMR to the cloud in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. Begin by going to aws.amazon.com. If you don't already have an account, sign up. Otherwise, log in. From the drop down, make sure to select the region closest to your physical location. From the search box, type in EC2. From the middle pane, select Launch Instance. From the left hand side, select AWS Marketplace. And in the search bar, type in OpenEMR. Select the OpenEMR Cloud Express Edition. We recommend an instant size of T2 micro or larger. Your specific requirements will dictate which size to select. For this example, I'm going to use a T2 micro. The defaults on this screen should be acceptable for most users. However, we do need to ensure that auto assign public IP is enabled. This is critical. Here, you can select the size of your hard drive. 8 gigabytes is the recommended minimum, but like the instance size, your specific use cases will determine the sizing. This setting can be increased at a later date. Tags can be a useful asset for managing your AWS infrastructure. However, they are not needed to run OpenEMR Express, and they are out of the scope of this video. The Security Group page automatically populates our suggested settings. However, you may wish to make changes to enhance security. For instance, by changing the SSH source to My IP, you ensure only connections from your current IP address will be allowed to access the server via SSH. You can also easily change this at a later time if you need to provide additional access. For more information on security groups, see a link in the description. We have an opportunity to review all our options. Once satisfied, click Launch. We now either need to select a key pair, if you already have one, or create a new one. Here I will create a new key pair called OpenEMR. AWS does not save this key pair, so it is very important you protect this file. It is the only way that you can SSH into your server and perform maintenance and backup recovery. Do not share this file on the internet. This is the master key to accessing your server. Our AWS server is now launching. Click on the instance ID to be taken to the EC2 management page. There are two key pieces of information on this page. First is the public DNS or public IP. This is what you put in your browser to reach OpenEMR. I will copy the value and paste it in a new tab. While we don't cover Route 53 in this video, you can use a custom domain. We also need the instance ID. This is the default password for your admin account. We recommend changing this after you first log in to something a bit more memorable. We'll let OpenEMR finish installing, which takes about 10 minutes, and then come back. And when we refresh our page, we'll have a working OpenEMR install. I've given it about 10 minutes, and now when I refresh my page, I see the OpenEMR login page. There you have it, a fully functioning instance of OpenEMR running on AWS. The entire process took less than 15 minutes. You can always come back to your EC2 management page to retrieve the public IP and instance ID information. I'll also SSH into the server. Use the key we downloaded earlier with the user Ubuntu. You can see I am now logged into the server. From here, I can perform backup and recovery, 
routine maintenance, and other administrative tasks. If you have any problems launching the instance or questions in general, head over to open-emr.org and post your questions in our active community forums.